You hit record? Oh, okay. So on the bottom line of Damit uh, and Subis of Rami, on Lamed Vav is on the bottom line. All right. So we've been we've been handling, we're going back and forth over what the status is of a woman who gets captured. Is she considered Tahar Tahira or not? Meaning, are we chayshid that the Goyim were Ma'anisar and therefore she is puzzle to a Kayan or not? Right, so that's so the Rabbi Yehuda said he wasn't concerned for it. So, so now the Gemara asks on the bottom line, Rami, at the end of the line, Rami, the Rapa of Bashmul, the Rabbi Yosef, the Rapa of Bashmul asked the Kashi to Rabbi Yosef, on Tomer Aleph, now, but Savar Rabbi Yehuda, Iktushasa Kaima, does Rabbi Yehuda really hold that a woman who gets captured remains Kaddish? But Tanya, we learned in a Bryce, the Hagiyarish and the Sky of Arash Saddam. So again, we know that a Giyaris. A, a, a Giyaris is uh, obviously what Chayshit that she she was Mazat, she's not a Basula, right? But uh, you know, as a, as a Dhamma, though, before we get to Giyaris, but a woman who sees Dham that day, so does that mean that? And back then, the, the um, Dham was for Tomantara. Right? So, do we say that everything that she touched, meaning how far back, how far do we kick back her, her Nida time? Meaning, so she gets a period right now, let's say 5.45 in the afternoon. Do we say that everything she touched that day was tummy, right, or not? Or do we say, well, from when From when do we kick it back? She didn't just become a leader right now. She might have been leader for the last hour, two hours, three hours. So that's a machloikis. So some say that it's since the last time she checked, whenever the assumption is that, would, that the minute after she checked her last time, that's when she got a period. Anything from then till now is going to come tummy. And others say it's 24 hours. And then some say we always go with the shorter of the two. So the question is a giyaris that got a period the day she became a giyaris. So now, do we kick it back when a guy, a guy doesn't have tumor? So if a guy doesn't have tumor, when do we say that all the stuff that she touches with tummy? Do we say it doesn't? Or do we say that it goes back to all the time that she went to the mikvah as a giyaris? Right, so let's see. So a Giyar Shinaskaya Shinaskaya Rasa Dam. She became a Giyaris when she sees Dam. A Yudha I married Daya Shaita. A Yudha says that Daya Shaita, it's a the literal translation is her time is enough. Meaning whatever time she sees it, that's when that's when her stuff becomes that's when anything she touched becomes tummy. Yaisi Aima, Arehi Kikholam Nashim, she's like any other woman. Umatama me slays and kidda. She'll either be Matama in the last twenty four hours. Or from one, from one pekida to another pekida, meaning from the last time she checked. We go with the shorter. We go with the shorter of the two, right? But obviously, we're not going to kick it back to before she was Jewish. It's just going to go back to, to the last to when she went to the mik. So that's the first thing. And then and gimel She needs to wait three months before she gets married because we don't know if she was pregnant from a guy. Give her review that. Rabbi Yossi Matali Aras and Rasamian. Rabbi Yossi says no. She could, she could get married right away. Right. So what do we see? That a shvuya, that a, a giyaris were chayshid, that she is going to, to have relations because the goyim are going to mess with her. So Rabbi, so you see that Rabbi Yehuda is chayshid, but then he makes her wait three months. So you see that goyim will be, will have relations. So the Gemara gives us a simple answer. I'm a lake, a shvuya karmas. You're asking a kasha from a giyaris to a shvuya? Giyaris lay mintera nafsha, shvuya mintera nafsha. Giyaris is not, uh, um, she's not careful before she becomes a giyaris. She'll mess around. She's a guy. Why shouldn't she mess around? Why should she care? Shvuya mintera nafsha, but a shvuya, she is going to be mocked. It. So just because if Yehuda says by Giyaris she's going to wait three months, that doesn't mean by a Shvuya you have to. By Giyaris, the Giyaris doesn't really care. But a Shvuya, a Shvuya will care. So then we we'll ask, Rami Shvuya, Shvuya. And why don't we ask, we'll ask Astira for Reb Yehuda from a captured woman to another captured woman, to Tanya. A Giyaris, a Shvuya, a Shifcha. So now a Giyaris and a Shvuya, the one who's captured, and a Shifcha is a, a Gaiyish maid. Shaniftu, Shaniskair, Shaniskair. This is our Mishnah, right? So they became free after they were three years old. They need to wait three months. That's a review that holds. 
So obviously, Rav Yehuda is saying that a shvuya. Why does a shvuya have? Why does a woman who was captured have to wait three months for? According to Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda holds that they were not violated or raped or whatever lashon you want to use. So if we're not chayshu for that, so then why should? Uh, so then, so then why should you have to wait three months? It's a stira from shvuya to shvuya. And Rabbi Yossi Matali Arsul and Asimiyad, Rabbi Yossi again is not concerned. But, but the bottom line is the steer of Yehuda. So Ishtik, he was quiet. Ishtik, he was quiet. Amr Lay, Midi Shmiel and he told him, Did you hear any tarots for this? How to answer up Rabbi Yehuda, the steer of Yehuda? Again, Rabbi Yehuda, we're saying, we're saying in our sugya, Rabbi Yehuda holds that a, that a Shvuya were not chay, should anything happen to her. So then why, is, well, why does Rabbi Yehuda make her wait three months before she gets married? So that we'll know. Who the father is if she's pregnant? No, when the Yehuda says she has to wait three months, we saw them being boil her. We saw the Goyim being together with her. So if that's the case, then for sure you have to wait three months. Why did you just you? say my poor? Why did you just say my my poor? Any lady that has an issue, you wait three months. That's all. You mean loy plug? I mean, Rabbi Huda really holds you don't have to, but he doesn't want to make confusion. I, I'm saying, why can't you say that? You wait by your grusha, you wait by your uh, almond. No, because you, there you're saying that she, because when you do that, that means you're saying that, that she was in a relationship. You're saying she had a problem. Okay, fine. Well, right? Maybe, maybe like, the answer is like yesterday's morning when we said that a basula. We want to make sure she still gets 200, even though maybe she should get 100, because otherwise people are going to stay away from her, even if... For no reason. We're not hush, maybe that would be the terrorist. Yeah. So again, so they're going to say a very positive thing. Rabbi Huda, when he says you have to wait three months, it's talking about where she actually, where they actually saw her, saw her being attacked, let's say. Right? And they actually saw them, the Goyim sleeping with her. So how could Rabbi Yaisi say you don't have to wait three months? Of course you have to wait three months. So I'm a rabbi, because some Rabbi Yaisi, Isha Mizana Mishameshes, but Moich Shalaitis Abra. No, because an Isha who's a who's Mizana uses a Moich that she doesn't decide. It's a good thing Miriam's not here for this. Right? An Isha that's Mizana will become prepared. She comes prepared. So therefore she uses birth control. That's essentially what it's saying. Back then they didn't have pills. And they didn't have condoms. So what they did is they put uh, a soft thing inside them that would block block the semen from going inside. Okay, so the Gemara asks, so, Bishlam, so again, we had three cases, though. We had a Meshvuya, one the lady was captured. We had a Giyaris, and we had a, a Shifcha. So Bishlam, a Giyaris, a Giyaris, we don't have to worry about, according to Rabbi Yaisi. Kimit the Daita like since her Das is to become a Giyaris, Mintur Nafsha, she's going to watch herself. Right, so she's going to make sure that she uses the birth control. Shvuya nami the lo yada heitem amtula. A shvuya also, she has no idea when she's going to, when they're going to come uh, take her to to uh, how do you call it to ransom her. Right. So since they're not going to know, so therefore it's uh, so therefore she's also prepared. But shivcha nami the shamim vimara. Right. So the shivcha knows that she'll she'll hear from her master. That she's going to be free. Michael but Ebed, who only goes out when when she gets damaged, she doesn't know when she's going to get damaged. So why would you think that she doesn't have to wait three months? She's not going to protect herself. Again, a regular Ebed goes free when they get damaged, uh, but she has no idea when she's going to get damaged. So she's not going to protect herself. She thinks she's a regular old guy. Again, when Ebed goes free, they become Jewish. So if they know they're becoming free, fine. But if she doesn't know can't, she's becoming free, so then can't she's, you say she's the not going to herself. Can't you say the same by Ishvuya? She has no idea when they're gonna when when she's gonna be freed. What? No, but she yeah, but it could be any minute. You're saying you're saying you so think? Shivcha should be concerned that any minute she's gonna get damaged. Now I don't know how often they get damaged. <laughs> how often does the Shivcha how often does Shivchas actually get damaged? That would that 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 we could say that it would make sense that like you're saying that it's that they, it's not often so therefore she knows she doesn't assume right she's okay be going free I would think Gershon what are you so complex about um no the look is mainly because I just felt but uh, oh. Shifcha Kananis goes out with Shen Vayin Mama Ria goes with Shen Vayin what a Shifcha Kananis goes out with Shen Vayin. Um, 
Yeah, that's an all so. Ria. Sh- no, I thought, no. doesn't, doesn't have Shen Ba'ayin. I, I don't know. Uh, it's how else do you understand this Gemara? I don't. Well, then it must be that the Ivan Kanadis doesn't go out. I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with that shot, unless otherwise noted. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. You go out with Shane Ryan. Either way, so she's not going to be prepared. So how, why, how come Rabbi Yossi not hold that she doesn't have to wait three months before getting married? So the Gemara asks, or are you going to say, well, it's not really, it's sort of like a question. It's part of, it's not, it's not, it's part of the question. Anything that's memela, right? That anything that happens by itself, yeah, um, that's not part of. Uh, so then maybe that one taka, she'd have to wait three months. I'm sorry, I stopped too early. That Rabbi Yaisi didn't say it. And you're right, by a shift or Rabbi Yaisi with taka hold, she would have to wait three months. But how about a woman who was, was raped? Or, or she was convinced to, to sleep with the man. The mamela, that's mamela. Nobody goes expecting to be raped. But Tanya Nusim of Futa Tzrichas Laham Den Gimel Chadashim. They need to wait three months. The very Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yossi Matal Eras Vilan Asim Yad. So why would Rabbi Yossi ever allow a woman who's raped to have to not to not to allow her to get married right away and not wait three months to see if she Taka became pregnant? Right. And then it would Taka become interesting if she took the morning after pill? Would he still would have you to still hold that you have to wait three months, but we're not, it's Friday. We're not going down that road, whether we would say that that would change things either way. So that's it. That's the caution. Of BIC. Why does RBIC let them get married right away? They have to wait. They should wait three months. So we change up shot. A woman whose mezana turns herself over quickly so that all the zero goes out of her so that she won't become pregnant. This is not a, effective form of birth control right but okay you can attempt it you can attempt it but i'm saying I think that's what they did i don't know why the gemara thinks that that would be enough to make it that she's not pregnant that you don't have to wait three months okay but that's a review i see holds the either or what about wait did, didn't what, the gemara what, say Rabbi Vamos, what that, that a woman's didn't the gemara we had an advice for any vamas somewhere that a woman's not allowed to be misapathis Right. Said over there that apparently, we don't do Tysus. <laughs> we did see that one because it was the gay Halach Lamaisa. Yes, a, 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 a Jewish. Apparently, woman I think you said not, the. Yes, a full back was then a it was effective. It was yeah, clear the Gemara, but uh, yeah. Our Hashulchan still says it. Our Hashulchan says, Bismana a woman should not, should not turn over right away after being together with the husband. So that it doesn't become a zero levatola issue, even though it's not ultimately going to be a zero levatola issue. But uh, yeah, if I'm making a face, it's because Ber- Peretz's barbecue just put up is blowing right in my face. If this is uh, not an effective ma- if this is not <laughs> effective, why is the Gemara suggesting? So Elamai have to say in the Gemara that it must have been effective enough that Rabbi Yossi holds that a woman doesn't have to wait three months. It's crazy. So, the, so I'm saying, so why are you saying it's not effective? And the Mitzias, it's not effective. But back then it was? It must have been something must have changed. Because even look at the next line, David. Look at the next line. What about Rabbi Yehuda? How come he says, okay, let, why is it he chayshu that the Goyim turn themselves over? He says, on hafcha, yofe, yofe. He says, maybe she's not going to do a good job turning herself over, meaning she's not going to be able to, 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 to jump or whatever it is that you have to do. But again, even Rabbi Yehuda is saying he's only chash she didn't do it properly. But if she did it properly, even Rabbi Yehuda would hold that she doesn't have to wait three months. So this clearly was some valid form of, of birth control. Dr. Corman's not on. Huh? We've got to see if there's any validity to this whatsoever. Some, uh, some, <coughs> some, some women... When they want, some doctors say that when a woman wants to get pregnant after they're together, <coughs> she should stay like that for a while. But, uh, but uh, I don't know if that really works. That works too well either. Okay. All right. Bye. So then the Gemara says, how do you know that you don't give two punishments? How do you know that you don't get two punishments? 
Meaning again, when somebody's chay of Misa and Malkus, they only get Misa, not Malkus. So Misa and Mammon, you only get Misa. So how do you know? Because the Pasuk says, anish anish. Again, the, the same case that we've been, the Pasuk we've been saying all, all throughout the last few blocks, which is that when two men are fighting and one of the men hits the woman by mistake and then can cause her a miscarriage. So we say, if, the, if she didn't die and it caused her a miscarriage, so then she, uh, then, uh, then you have to pay for the miscarriage. So you know says, that's how we know, meaning you have to pay for the, but if she died, then you don't have to pay for the miscarriage, right? Again, if the pregnant woman died, there's two things that are going on here. The woman's dying. So the guy who hit her is Chai Misa, and she also loses the fetus, which she has to pay for. But we're saying that if the only time you pay for the fetus is if, he, if the mother didn't die, but if the mother died, you're out from the fetus. Why? Because it must be that you don't do, we don't do two punishments. You don't get Misa. And Mammon. So the Gemara, the Gemara says that's that's from the Veloyi Yehos and Anish Yanish. So Gemara asks, You learn that out from here, Mehos and Nafka. We learn that out from Kidei Rishasai, Mishum Risha Achasatam Achaiva. It says you, you give somebody punishments according to his Rishas. From, from one Rishas, you Machaiv, Yatta Machaiv, Mishum Shte Rishayas, and you not Machaiv somebody for two Rishayas. So how come we need, uh, what's with that positive? So no answer is one is coming to tell you that you don't you don't get Misa and have to pay. And the other Pasuk is telling you Malkus and money, that you don't get both. So why do you need two? Why can't you learn one out from the other? If it's going to tell you Misa and Mama, by Misa and Mama, he's losing his Neshama. So that's a major punishment. So what are you going to do? Give him another punishment of payment? He's getting enough punishment. Have a Malkus a moment, but Malkus a moment. Lucky you've been shown. You're not losing the shama. Aim a loy. Be ashmin and Malkus a moment. And if you're going to say Malkus a moment, Mishum de loy chameri sure. Malkus a moment is because it, it didn't. He didn't do such a big avera, right? So therefore, since he didn't do such a big avera, he should only get one punishment. Have a miso a moment. If he's if he has this chayav miso, it means it's a major avera. The chamer that it's very strict isura. The Chamer Isura that it's very the the is strict. Ema lie, Ema lie. There, maybe I would say there you do get two punishments because you did such a big aver, right? Meaning it's you're looking at it from one end to the other. And the first tzad is that one you're getting the biggest punishment. So why should we give you a minor punishment in addition? The second side is no. If you did such a big aver, you need two punishments. So you would think either way. Kamash Balan, That's what the pasuk says it twice to tell you that you're not. You're only going to pay, you only get one punishment. How about Remeyer though? But Ula Remeyer, Dama, or Loiku, Mishalim. Remeyer holds, we had a two blot ago, or three blot ago, that you do get Malchus and have to pay. Tarti Lomeli. So why does he hold you need two Psukim? So he says, Chadim Amiso, Maman. One is talking about somebody's Chai Misa, he also has to pay on Tamil base now. But Chadim Miso, Malchus. And one is talking about to tell you that you get Misa and Malchus. But Trichan, you need to say that twice. So since by Misa and Maman, one is he's getting punished in his body, and the other one is getting punished from the property. Right? So that's two totally different punishments of a Misa and Malchus, but Misa and Malchus, which are punishments, the Idi Idi Begufe, where they're both in his body. Let's just say that's a long death, meaning if you give him Malchus and then you kill him. That's just like a long death. So why not give him both? Benevid base. I'm sorry, I keep stopping too early. Aim a Misa Richter even never base. Let's say it's a Misa Richter. And you and you should give him both. The Yash mean a Misa Malkus. And if we just tell you Misa Malkus, the Tarti Bibufe, Loyadina. We're not gonna do two punishments in one body. Ava Misa moment, but Misa moment, the Khat Bibufe, the Khat Mamani. So it's two different punishments. Once his body is getting punished. And one is his wallet is getting punished. Amen, Navid Bay. So therefore, I would say maybe you should. So Tricha. Therefore, it, it needs to tell us that uh, that's why you need two psukim according to Rameh. Now the Gemara goes through other times in the Torah where it seems to be saying that you cannot. Um, um, seems to be saying that you cannot. You don't. You can't pay somebody off from getting being chayv misa. So what do you need that for? So the Gemara says, the Veloy Sikhru Kaifer, the Nefesh Fritzea. You can't take Kaifer for the Nefesh Fritzea. I mean, if a guy kills, he cannot buy his way out like Kaifer. He can't buy his way out of 
getting punished. Why do you need that for? Right? Yeah, so meaning if you have a Pusik that tells you um, that a, you don't have to, if a, a person is high of Misa and Mammon, he doesn't pay Mammon and Misa. So of course you can't pay Mammon to get out of the Misa. So the more answers, um, don't, the title is telling you, don't take money from him. And let him be potter from killing. Meaning, I'm not sure I understand the Havamina. The Havamina was is that somehow we're trying to get him. He's going to still be high visa and he should pay. And the Gemara is answering, no, that Pusik is telling you that don't let a rich guy buy his way out of Misa. Right? You could hear a guy doing that. A guy says, hey, I murdered my friend. Okay, but I'm a millionaire. How about I give the family a million bucks and I'm not high Misa? The family might even sign up for that. Right? So that's what the Pusik is telling you. You can't do that. You can't do that. Right? Fine. Next pasuk. Why do you need that also? That is somebody who's to get out of Golis. Can he just pay his way out of Golis? So another guy, another rich guy wants to buy his way out of Golis. So we don't take that. We don't take it either. Okay. So why do you need two pasukim to tell us this? Why do you need a pasuk to tell you that a guy can't buy his way out of, buy, buy his way out of Misa? Why do you need a pasuk to tell you that a guy can't buy his way out of Golis? So my answer is Chad B'Shoigig and Chad B'Mezid. Right? One is talking about B'Shoigig. That's Golis, obviously. And one is talking about Mezid. It's Rikhi. And you need them both. I mean, Mezid, Meshum de Chamer Yisura. Mezid is the Yisura Chamer. So therefore, the guy can't buy his way out of it. Abba Shoigig like Chamer Yisura. That it's not so Chamer because it was a mistake. Aim a lie. So maybe you would say, no, let him buy his way out. I mean, Shoigig, Meshum de Leki, Ibn Neshama. Shoigig. There is the meaning, there isn't even the Shama, somebody's dying, but meaning the, the guy who killed is not going to be Chai Misa anyways. So he's not being Chai Misa anyways. Where there's Ibn right? Maybe I would say that uh, he could buy his way out. Meaning a guy going to Golas, okay, so let him go to Golas. We don't let him buy his way out. Eventually he'll, he'll get back his regular life. Right, but the guy Chai Misa, why not save his life? So Tzricha, that's why you need a Tupsukim to tell you that we don't allow. We don't does, allow any buying out. Does this Gemara mean that there's two separate dinim and Golis? The Pasuk is much more that the reason for Golis is that the Goyal Adam won't kill him. He can't get there. It's protective custody. Right. This this is much more that even if the Goyal Adam will not kill him, he still has to go to Golis. Right. I Otherwise, why can't he pay him off? Just pay. Yeah, I mean, you're in the, in the Havamina. Yeah. Even in the Maskana. Even in the Maskana. Let him pay him to get out right. of Golis. What yeah, happens I, if I, the second brother still wants to go after him, Makesh? So pay them all. Gonna be. Well, you know that's going to be. You know that's going to be. You save him. The point is to save him from Golis. If it's not going to save him from Golis, he's not going to do it. If there's five brothers and they'll each take fifty million dollars and that's it, let him do it. Okay, what I'm saying, you could. Uh, the boss is saying yeah. he can't. Even if it would work, he can't do it. Correct. Correct. Which means there's but a second that, into Gullis. He has to be in Gullis right. even if he could say go. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what do yeah. they do if he doesn't go to Gullis? He doesn't go. No. They could kill him. No, right? They could kill him. The brothers, he made a side deal with the brothers. They're not killing him. You mean, does he have to, does he not, can he get away with that? He kicks out, you mean the money that Bez is not taking from him, he goes and he, under he, gives the tish, the, he, he, gives he it. makes, he gets out of it. So we're, we're, who, who's making him? Rab 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 you're confusing it with the Godfather. It's a different situation. <laughs> you're mixing I mean, it up. Are you saying uh, if he's uh, over an Isser and he does this anyway? Yeah, yeah, is there an issue? Yeah. Does he have to run? Let's Once say guy more. doesn't care about his life. Let's say he doesn't care about his life. Well, okay, we have to see in Marcus about this whole subject. That's right? what I'm I saying. He has, from 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 this, he has to go. To Nobody's coming after him. He's one of the <laughs> Jewish guys in Murder Incorporated. He killed somebody that nobody's coming He's after him. Okay, guys, okay. I'm coming. Right. So, but you still have to go to. I think he still has to go to Gauls. If I remember correct, he still has to run to Gauls. Okay, let's see weiter. Then the Gemara says another passage. It says, This is talking about Egla Rufus. Egla Rufus, when you find a dead body, 
in between cities. Nobody knows who killed it. Nobody knows anything. So the city closest that's going to take a cow and snap its neck. So then the, the Gemara said, what happens if then they, they snap the cow's neck, then they find the killer. All right, so it says, the, the land is not, does not have a kapar. So except if the, the dam of the person who murdered. So, so Lamali, why do I need that pasif? Let's say you already you cut off the neck, not cut, you snap the neck of the calf, and then you find the killer. How do you know you don't pater him? Right, that the land is not until the killer, his blood is spilled. Right? Fine. So that's so that's it. Like, that's what that pasuk is coming for. Then it says, Why do I need the pasuk of that? You should be. You should uh, get rid of the clean blood from from amongst you. Right. Um, so that's that pasuk seems to be saying the same thing. You're gonna kill the dam. You're gonna get. You're gonna. You're gonna do the dam naki in mikrebecha. Uh, so meaning you that you're gonna kill the guy. If you find the murder, so mibayle look at the tanya. You need it for what it says in the price. I mean, I lemumsim besayif. How do you know that anybody that gets misa is besayif shuman atzavar? That anybody that's getting misa besayif, which is with a sword, beheading as they say it, that it's by the neck. How do you know it's not by the chest? We make a hekish of all shevet dam zegarufa. Mal alon minat. Just like the cow or the calf, you snap its neck. Also, we snap its neck. Fine. says, So maybe by egla rufa, you could do it with a with a um, with a kaifitz. What do you call it? Kaifitz, an axe. Umimul oiref, and behind the neck, afkan bekaifitz umimul oiref. Maybe when you're doing sayif, it should also be with an axe and behind the neck. Which it's not; it's with a sword, and it's uh, in front. You have to love your brother like yourself. You got to choose the most nicest misa. So I guess a sword in the front of the neck is a better misa than an axe to the back of the neck. And there are two uses possible for marriage. So Parrots <laughs> is still in Sheva Brachos mode. He said, "You heard what he said." He said, "Even." What's the pasuk that you got to see your wife before you marry her? You have to So, oh. <laughs> same thing. Misa, it's all the same. Okay, he says misa. He's saying this misa make it suchtel. Misa, okay, whatever. Well, if I'm even yovin or whatever, parrots will give a shear after that on on his interpretation of a after Okay. Same. Uh, the same pasuk. That's so nice. Yeah. Okay. So. All right, let's do one more kasha. One more kasha, even though it goes on. Can we can episode. we mute parrots? Can you mute parrots from the grill? Uh, no, but the problem is, that if if he'd be cooking, he would be muted. But it's, it's still getting hot. The grill. So, <laughs> okay. So then the says, "Call cherem asher yachum and adam lo yipada." It says, "You have anybody who has a cherem, right? You don't redeem a guy that had a cherem, right?" And then the pasuk ends off saying that he should be. He should be, he should, uh, what's the pasuk saying then? Mice you must, he should die. So what's the pshat in that? You say, we just got finished saying that you don't, you're not pay the guy. Everybody, you got to die. Let's say somebody's going out, I was thinking before that, let's do as a dhamma. There's something called erchen, where you could you can donate the worth of somebody to, to, to hektish, right? The question is, does that go with how much each individual is worth? Or do you say, that this person is worth whatever, whatever minimum amount it is. So, how do you know that somebody's going out, the guy's going out to me, and one guy, one wise guy says, I have an erchen on me, meaning I'm going to pay, and the Gemara says he didn't say anything, meaning he, again, the guy's going out to me, so he's a dead man walking, as they say. So he says, oh, I'm going to pay his worth. He's, wor he's worthless, he's dead, or he's going to be dead. So how do you know that it's nothing? This pasuk, maybe even before the Gemar Din, meaning he's in court and they're and they're testifying against him. You say it if you say it, then maybe he's also a dead man. It says from a person, not every person. 
So only once he has a gemar din that he's going to be dead, then he doesn't have erech. Okay. Rav Chanani ben Akavya, Adamar Nerech mevnei Shadama Petuva, he could do erech because he does have a set amount. There are there is a set amount. Hi, Kol Cherem, my Avid Lei. What is he doing? My Avid Lei. What is he doing with this pasuk? Mivayle. Look at the Tani. Rav Yishmael ben Asher, Rav Yochanan, Rav Reik, Rav Omer, Rav Yishmaetzinu lemumsim bitei shemayim shenaisim mamenu muschaper lehen. You find that those that are going to get misa bitei shemayim, them they could take kaifer. Meaning, what we've been talking about till now is misa from bezdin. So Misa from Bezdin, you gotta, the person has to get Misa from Bezdin. He can't buy anything off. But a guy that's going to have Misa B'day Shemayim, there is, there is, um, there is, there is such a thing, something called Kapara, right? Which is in Sanhedrin and Makkas. That means like if your Shar killed somebody. So if somebody's animal killed somebody, he himself is not Chaya Misa. It was a Shar. Now again, he's not getting the Tzadik of the Year Award, but he himself is not Chaya Misa, but there's something called Kaifa. Right, so you see, the fish matzina, the mumsim bidei shemayim, she knows the mammon umas chaperen. She never in pipe in pipe for yusha salav. If you're going to place kaiser on him, so yachal af bidei adam kain. So you would think, even if it's bidei adam, amalaymar cherem min ha adam lo yipada cherem from a person. Right, so it's um, you don't do a pigeon on somebody who's getting misa from um, um, a person, a uh, people. Mainly, Elam Misas Chamuras. That only tells you by Misas that a Chamur shall learn into Shikdas and Lekapara. That if somebody did that Misa by mistake, right? So it is no Kapara. Misas Kalas should learn into Shikdas and Lekapara. But Misas Kalas, right? By uh, that, uh, where uh, Misas Kalas is Karis is. It's I know it's strange that Karis sounds like a Misa Kal. That's what it's saying. That Rashi says that Misas Chamuras ben Karis as Dainai Belay Hasra. Right, that's like Shabbos. Shabbos, meaning there's certain Mises that you cannot, you're not going to get unless there's Asra. Then there's other Mises you're going to get even if there's no Asra, like Shabbos. Shabbos, if there's Asra, it's Skila. If there's no Asra, it's Karas. Right? Or um, um, or for somebody for Golos, so how do you know there's a Kapara? Tamalaymar Kol Cheren. That he says Kol Cheren. I'm sorry, that there's no Kapara, so it's Kol Cheren. Sigmar says, Velay um, 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 is it? Hold on, should we stop there? Oh, yeah, let's just keep going. Beloi memela mi loy sikum koyfer shemas mina. Didn't you hear this from the pasuk of loy sikum koyfer? Loy sishkom amayna mina v'siftere. Don't take money from him and let him go free. So then we went over from another pasuk. So what's kol cherem lamli? So Amar Rabbi Chama Itzrich, we need it. So could I take hamina? Because I would have thought on Tamar Aleph now. Hani mili hechet the hargu derech aliyah. That's only if he killed. When he was with the axe, when he's killing, he's swinging it. It's on its way up. Shalai nitna shigagase le kapara because the shagig is not given the kapara. Havel hargai derech yurida. But if he's killing on the way down, where he's high of galus, the nitna shigagase le kapara, where the shagig is is given for a kapara because he can go to galus for that. Ema nishko mamayna mine. Then maybe we should take take money from him v'niftere and then he'll be pater kamash malan. So the reason why the second pasuk of kol cherem is coming to tell you that. There's no kapara money, even when somebody kills b'mezid on the way down, right? Meaning, don't think that on the way down. Maybe since since it would, if he did it by mistake, he would be he would go to gullus. So therefore, it has a different status than if it was on the way up. So it's so kamash malan that there's no there's no kapara for anything. Okay, and the gemara continues in the shakalatari. Okay, we'll rehash this tomorrow night, Brother Hashem, and then we'll uh, continue. All anyone right. anyone who's still on can keep on going. That's true. That is true. But I <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, no, I was thinking finish, that actually. we can't finish tomorrow's doc yet. <laughs> then they're gonna complain, you know what I mean? So <laughs> exactly. If we get too far, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. You're sure, good good job job. I'm sorry, my phone is giving all sorts of issues. You're good where you're good at what you gotta do. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't know. Did you get a text from me in the last question? I don't know. My text. The last one was back. the last one. Oh, I just got it now. Because I just resent it. I got it. My phone is totally. I didn't get it before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a good Shabbos, right. everyone. Yeah, I'm good. good. Thank you, Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. I, took care of what you, I took care of what you asked me to take care yes, of. Yes, he texted me. Then. Thanks a lot. Okay. No problem. Have a good Shabbos. All right. Good Shabbos. Yeah. What good are you Shabbos. saying, Gershon? Yeah. Now that we have this pasuk of Kol Cherem Ashiyachram, 
So, which tells us that uh, he has no value. If he's already considered dead, why do we need Kadei Rishasi to tell Tapata for Miso Maman? How can a dead person pay anything? What are you saying? This Pasuk of Kal Khairim, Shiyach, yeah. right? So, according to everyone except, uh, who is it? Who is it? Ribchanani ben Akavya. Except yeah. for Ribchanani ben Akavya, we learn that once there's a Gemar Din, he has no value. Right. right? Why? Because he's already considered dead. If he's right. already considered dead, why do we need a possible to say that he's Potter from paying? What do you mean? Why? Why is he saying that you're potter from pain? Kadei Rishasay, right? 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 Yeah, that's for Miso Maman. That's for... If he's chai of Miso, it's for Miso Maman. When you have both Miso and Maman, there's no, there's no, the Maman is potter. Right? But according to Kal Cherem, He's already considered dead. Why do we need a Pasuk to say that he doesn't pay? Are we How are you going to be a Mechai with a dead person to pay something? Maybe it's Yerusha. No, the Einish is for him. I understand, but it, could, it should come out of his uh, face. It's not an Einish, though. That's, I mean, it's, that would stand be a new thing. Where? Uh, maybe. I'm not going to be there for a while. I have to find a strong mayor to yeah, what are you saying? It's supposed to be an Einish. If, if, if it's not, if right. it's coming from his Yerusha, it's not an Einish for him. I hear. There's no Shaykhist to him. Right. I don't know. I, I thought, okay. I don't know. I got to do the Arabs. Okay. All right. Feel good. I'm going to have a big bruise. That was a big fall. I just yeah, took yeah, yeah. You're asking me a when you look like that, I said, okay, I must have said shot totally wrong. I'm weird. I'm no, no, no. What did I, I say was, wrong? I was in, I'm, I'm so dizzy. I just fell over, like, spinning. Okay. Fine. Wow. Well, before Shalem. Amen. All right. Have a great job. Okay. Good job. Go to.